Science and technology. What would your life be like without technology? Can you imagine living in the past with no electricity, no internet, and no option for making a phone call to relatives who live abroad? Today's population considers these things unimaginable and hard to swallow. Dear listeners, welcome to the next episode of our podcast dedicated to the topic of science and technology. Sloboda je kľúčom k nezávislosti. No čo sloboda znamená pre teba? Štvorka te nebude obmedzovať. Sloboda pre mladých nie je len paušál. Sú to otvorené dvere do nového slobodného života. Tak daj záväzky bokom a prejdi do štvorky. Voľné minúty, SMSky a mobilné dáta dostaneš už za 4 eurá mesačne a to bez viazanosti. Všetko vyriešiš pohodlne na webe slobodapremladých.sk alebo v mobilnej apke Moja štvorka. Stačí, aby si mal potvrdenie o štúdiu. Tak na čo ešte čakáš? People have always been curious and experimented in all kinds of areas, whether it was medicine or technology. Life in the past was not easy and every process was time consuming. The day started early in the morning by making a hearty breakfast on the fire to get enough energy for working in the fields. This hard physical work requiring care for crops took the whole day and when people came back home their only option was to sit around the fireplace, tell stories, light candles and go to sleep. Does it sound easy? It was definitely not an easy routine. The lack of electricity caused many complications and working with tools made of natural materials was very difficult. This is the reason why people decided to explore the world of science and technology which would make their lives easier. They tried to make hypotheses, ask questions about different phenomena and make conclusions about certain effects. The scientific process requires long-term observation and experiments that easily fail during the process. A very important factor is perseverance, a will leading to the achievement of goals and ideas worthy of invention and people's interest. There are many methods used by scientists to study different fields. However, they change according to the results and steps made to reach the ideal shape or form of a specific product or invention. Compared to our ancestors, we have more free time because our lives have been made easier by technology. The Industrial Revolution was very productive in terms of inventions and led to major shifts in the 19th century in the Victorian era. The first inventions were very simple, like knowledge of how to use fire or the wheel, which helped create a different system of work. Our ancestors made many new discoveries in areas like mathematics, astronomy or alchemy, which started a marathon of third inventions and new information for future generations. Natural curiosity motivated our ancestors to dig into unknown secrets of science and technology. Thanks to them, we can be proud of different types of devices which bring both advantages and disadvantages. Let's start with a positive attitude and speak about the advantages first. Life with technology and science enables us to communicate quickly and with no limits. The invention of the landline by Alexander Graham Bell in 1849 provided an option to manage all important things via telephone. The option of mobile phones offers us an endless opportunity to contact people, call for help in any event and at any time. Phones have become an intrinsic part of our pockets and handbags. As a negative factor, we can consider the fact that sometimes they completely replace real contacts. Transport is another area where science has done a great job. And nowadays, we don't have to worry about getting to our destination in two or three days. Of course, carriages are still a tourist attraction in Vienna's old town. But none of us can imagine a real journey like this. Longer distances are no longer a problem, and means of transport like planes, trains, buses or ships make our journeys more enjoyable and pleasant. The same situation is found in the improvement of the post office, when you don't need to wait for your package or a love letter for ages. You won't need the service of pigeons, because deliveries and post offices solve these things for you. 
The first class service guarantees a delivery in a maximum of two days. The only thing you need to do is pay some money and check whether your delivery has safely arrived at its final destination. Very important discoveries have been made in medicine. Even though doctors tried to find ideal solutions for their patients, it wasn't enough to save them and cure them from diseases which appeared in different historical periods. Science and long-term experiments have brought vaccination and medicines that heal or relieve symptoms. Only time, patience and experienced scientists can eradicate contemporary diseases all over the world. Thanks to them, medicine is available to everyone and life expectancy is getting higher. Can you name a medicine that has been very important in the history of medical science? Yes, your guess was right. It was penicillin that belongs to a group of antibiotics discovered by the Scottish scientist Alexander Fleming. Penicillin was originally an extract from mould that has saved more than 200 million lives. Another significant revolutionary invention was the X-ray by William Conrad Röntgen, who contributed to physics and medicine in 1895. One of the earliest photographic plates from his experiments was a film of his wife's hand. Modern medicine is also known for transplantation, which is a medical procedure during which an organ is removed from one body and placed in the body of another patient. Transplantation works for the replacement of missing or damaged organs. If we wanted to mention all the medical discoveries throughout the centuries, we could talk about it for hours. But insulin, discovered in 1889, is also worth mentioning. Diabetes is a common disease, and German researchers found out that the pancreas is the place where the hormone insulin is produced, and people can die if the symptoms of diabetes are serious. Thanks to scientists in the past, there are more and more ways of saving lives and helping the unhealthy. And this is the reason why citizens and states should support research to develop medicine. The assets of technology are visible in our everyday life. However, we should be careful about who is the boss in this situation. The disadvantages include the perception of time that technology makes us feel in a different way. Generally, we have more free time because pressing one button is faster than starting a fire. But is this really the truth? Think about the hours spent with your technology devices and how much time they take from you while distracting you from real work. Yes, this is also a negative aspect of technology. It brings comfort, but on the other hand, screen time is increasing and communication is getting worse. The internet and new technological inventions might be used for pleasure and entertainment, but your personal data might be misused and stolen and possibly sold to other companies. We must be really careful about the virtual world full of frauds and untrustworthy users. Children should be aware of the presence of negative factors and parents should care more about what websites their kids visit. Unfortunately, technology doesn't provide only comfort. It also acts as a weapon in warfare. Warfare might be understood in many ways, whether it is a war or a biological weapon. Even though we are aware of the dangers, taking extra care is never a bad idea for a responsible use of technology and its devices. Understanding the value of the real world and not being engulfed by virtual reality is a great challenge nowadays. Dear listeners, stay in the real world. Enjoy technology in a balanced way. Don't get seduced by the bad influence of modern inventions. And if you want to know more, listen on. The invention of technology was not prosperous for everyone, not in the past and not even now. The Industrial Revolution didn't only bring new discoveries, but also took away opportunities for people to work manually because machines replaced manual jobs. Many unemployed people protested against this situation and the frustration escalated. 
The same idea of robots and other inventions replacing people is a subject of discussion, and honestly, people all over the world are scared of this moment. Hopefully, it's still in the distant future, but we can say that some cafeterias already use the service of robots without using staff like cooks or waiters. We can only hope that occupations like teachers, doctors, or masons. Won't be completely replaced by technology. Scientists try to explore many areas of the world, even outside our own planet, in space. What do you think? Will it be possible to go for a holiday in space the same way we go to Croatia? Why not? When even Laika the dog visited this mysterious place, it probably will be possible, but it will be very expensive and not available to everyone. Space is a very inspirational place. It has fascinated every generation across time. Researchers trying to find other civilizations and other phenomena, and astronauts brave enough to explore space themselves, always bring us new facts about life out there. Telescopes and space machines are continuously being developed, and we still hope for new discoveries, which might explain many effects here on Earth as well as in other fascinating areas. We have already mentioned the dark side of technology, but we should understand that some experiments, like cloning or same-sex reproduction, might lead to our own destruction. Although the experiments and people who are behind them are admirable. It is important to set ethical limits, which will never be violated for the population's sake. Another issue accompanying modern technology is massive pollution caused by transportation and power stations. Yes, scientists are ambitious, and the most motivating factor for developing new technologies is money. But we must consider whether certain inventions are really beneficial for our lives and planet. Our home is being destroyed enough due to our own irresponsibility, and in the next few years we should focus on saving the planet. We shouldn't forget that people are not only creators but also destroyers. The threat is significant in nuclear power that is rather controversial, even though it represents an inefficient way of producing electricity by making steam from boiling water. Nuclear reactors produce radioactive waste, which is a major environmental concern and danger in the event of an explosion. A disaster connected to nuclear power dates from 1986, when Chernobyl's reactor exploded and caused the death of many people. The reason for the explosion was a sudden release of energy and the neglected tests of reactor number four. Another example of a nuclear accident is the Fukushima disaster from 2011, which was primarily caused by a tsunami and an earthquake. Nuclear power was also used in the Second World War against Hiroshima and Nagasaki, and this is also the reason why nuclear power plants are refused by many states. Since these disasters happened, scientists have been trying to find different ways of producing electricity, such as solar panel systems. However, it is still not enough for our consumer society full of technology. Dear listeners, in this episode, we have looked at the importance of science and technology, their benefits as well as risks and dangers. We have to realize that technology is a good servant but a vicious master. Society is becoming more and more consumerist, and it is important to take every step of discovery, usage, and its consequences responsibly, and into consideration in order to provide a safe and comfortable life. Thank you very much for listening, and we will be delighted if you subscribe to us on Apple Podcasts or Spotify, or write a comment on YouTube. We hope you listen to us again soon.